my channel. Um, for anyone wondering, I'm actually not in my bedroom whilst filming this video because my laptop has just died, so I've had to come downstairs and plug it on charge. Um, today's video is going to be an updated pet hate video. I have done a pet hate video sometime last year. I think I got to like 10 pet hate. Um, so we're going to update and do some pet hate and tell you guys why they're my pet hate. Hello. And Sandy's come to say hello guys as well. Okay, I'm filming dog. Thank you. I love you as well. Moving on. I don't know what she's doing guys. I really don't know, but okay. My first pet hate is people talking, drawing a movie. Like, you don't say to someone, do you want to watch a movie? And then start having a gab halfway through it. Like, you just don't do that. Um, It really annoys me, especially because I'm trying to watch the film. Um, And, you know, you just get people that randomly like to chat and you're thinking, do you want, do you want me to turn the film off? Is that what you want me to do? Because... I will do that, literally. I I notice with my mum when I'm watching telly in my room, she comes in all the time, so I have to pause it and I'm thinking, I'm trying to watch this, what do you possibly need now? And it's like, nothing, I just want to chat. Literally, if you're watching the movie with me, great. Just don't talk for the movie, please. Sandy, what are you doing? That dog's weird, I swear. Moving on to pet hate number two. People turning up late for stuff. If I'm going out and I give you guys a time to meet up, just get there on time instead of texting to say I'm on my way and you're still in the house or you can't actually be bothered to come meet me. Do you know what I mean? If you're going, going somewhere, be a bit about five minutes early and then that way we're all there we've all met up it's great you get on with the day pet hate number three dog owners not cleaning up after the dogs i'm sorry but you got a dog guys the least you can do is clean up after it they can't do it because they're an animal they you know like us humans when they gotta go they gotta go all you need to do is have a bit of dignity and clean up after yourself. Well, clean up after your dog instead of just leaving it. I mean, it's... You know what? You don't clean it up, you pay the fine, don't you? Yeah, it is what it is, guys. Relating to that pet hate. This is a big pet hate of mine, and I think it is so, so cruel. A lot of people don't think it's cruel. But... When you go on a bike ride and you have your dog running alongside it. To me, okay, it's cruel, okay. It is, it's so cruel because, one, how is your dog expected to stop and do the business? They can't because you're on a bike and they're running alongside. Two, they could get injured because of being attached by the bike or you could injure yourself. You have a dog, do what any normal person would do and just take it on a walk instead of getting on your bike and going for a bike ride with the dog because it's, it's, it's cruel, you know. They need to walk, not run alongside a bike and end up getting injured or you end up injuring yourself. I mean, me personally, I wouldn't be bothered if you guys injured yourself because it's cruel, so don't do it. It's really cruel. Right, another pet hate of mine, people not using tissues when they cough or sneeze, you know when you're out on public transport and they just have to start coughing and sneezing all over you, hello, bit of personal space, you know, use tissues, bin it and then use some hand sanitizer, you know, Covid guys, you know, space. Keep it spacious and don't be spreading germs over people because that's just disgusting. 
really disgusting. Moving on, I don't even know what number we're on. I think we're on number five now, but you know. Lies and dishonest people. Now, for you that know me, you you know full well what happened with me and my job. Unfortunately, I can't discuss it. Um, but you know, for some for someone that I've known a long time to finally find out the true colours in here after about fourteen years, and what that person done to me and to my family was despiteful of her. And this is the nicest way I'm going to put it across now, is she's lower than a snake's belly. You can't get any lower than that. And I just, I just wish that person had been honest with me from the start, because unfortunately, bad things went and happened, you know. Unfortunately, I'm the one that felt like I had no choice but to give my notice and to work. Um... It is what it is, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, we move on from there and hopefully something like that won't happen again. Fingers crossed. Moving on to another pet hate of mine, and this, this kind of bothers me because, you know, when people are, like, acting like they're such a popular person and that they, they think they're so perfect, they know the answer to everything, guys... Nobody is perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect person because everybody has to make mistakes to learn from mistakes, okay? Okay, yeah, you're perfect in your way. I'm not going to say that you're not because you are, but you have to make mistakes to learn from them mistakes. You know, if you're starting to climb up a ladder, you've got to start from the bottom and you've got to climb the steps in between to get to the top. You can't just go straight from the bottom to the top without climbing the steps in between. Okay, you guys are perfect in your own way. I'm not perfect at making YouTube videos, I know that, but I still do it. I try, I try my best to entertain you guys, which is what I love doing anyway. Um, But yeah, there's no such thing as a perfect person, so please don't turn around to me and say, well, I've never made the mistake in my life because... You're lying, aren't you? Everybody has made mistakes because everybody makes mistakes to learn from mistakes, okay? It is what it is, guys. Being negative. I can relate to that with me a lot and that's because I've had a lot of negative on me in the past, mainly with school. Um, you know, I was I was bullied quite a lot. Um I was body shamed. I got called a thicko because I have dyslexia. Um, so when people are positive with me now, I I kind of tend to pull back to the negative and say, you know, I'm not pretty, I'm not this, I'm not that. And that's because it's reflected so bad on me. I do like to po spread positive vibes to a lot of other people though. Um, and I like to compliment them all the time. And then when it comes back on me, I go dead insecure about myself. And I feel like, oh my God, I'm not this, I'm not that. I know I'm that. It's just when people are negative with you, it, it sort of sticks with you, if that makes sense. I don't know. It makes sense to me, okay? Moving on. Um, Big-headed people. Now... People can probably relate to this with working in a job, you know, having a job. As I don't want to sound awful, but it tends to be managers and like high up people. Now I'm not being funny. I get I get that you've worked your way from like being at the bottom to the top. I get that I do, but the way I look at it, you can either. Be a successful person to other people and you can help them out. Or you can stay big headed but you, you'd lose a lot of staff or you know you'd lose a lot of friends. Hi. Just don't be big headed guys. It's not worth it. Getting told you're too old for Disney. 
I think I used that on my last pet hate video. Um, Disney doesn't have an age limit, guys. I don't know why people look and think, oh my god, you like Disney. You're too old for Disney. Why? Why am I too old for Disney? Please tell me. Can you stop? I'm trying to film. As, as much as I love you, you're doing my bedroom right now. <laughs> Come on, down. Sorry, guys. It, yeah, Disney doesn't have an age limit on it, so I don't understand how you can be too old for something. I will quite happily sit and watch a Disney movie from start to finish. Preferably Lilo and Stitch because we all know it, guys. Stitch is like my go-to character. But I will watch other Disney films as well. I don't just go for Lilo and Stitch. I do watch other Disney films as well. The only one Disney film I'm probably not impressed with is Into the Woods because I actually found that quite boring. Oh, well. Sorry. But anyone that likes that film, I personally didn't. I actually found it quite boring. I actually fell asleep through it. Moving on, I think I'm coming like onto my last pet hate now. Um... No, I'm actually not. That was actually all my pet hate, guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, Sorry it's not in my bedroom. It's actually my dad's man cave downstairs. It's actually the front room of the house, but it's his hangout. But it is what it is. My laptop needs a charging. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Come join my YouTube family. Go follow me on TikTok. It's 09 Jess Wilson. Go follow me on my Instagram. It is Jess Wilson New. And I will see you guys next time.